Hello YouTube, welcome back to some more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> Alright, so, in the last one we had an adventure uh, up in the sky. We have a picture of some ancient writing that we need to get translated. Um, I believe... I believe Kakariko Village is where we go for that. <clears throat> I think the one research guy, um, he's kind of uh, set up in a tent here. I think he'll translate any pictures we take. So we'll get this translated. Um, we'll go back to uh, Pongo, maybe, is his name. Um, but he was also... Um, the guy doing the paintings was also in Breath of the Wild. So it's really cool to kind of see the, the continuity of the characters. Oh. I did. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Seems to be a little bit of <clears throat> Scottish um, accent kind of stuff in here. Nay, con hit not ye just to be described. I don't know. Temple of time, ye saw. Apparently, the ancient Hyruleans were Scottish. That's kind of making my eyes cross reading some of that. Hey. Uh, I mean, my head is spinning too, yeah. Oh, is that what that said? Well, that was the goddess Hylia, if I uh, remember correctly from... Skyward Sword. Uh. I'm so overwhelmed that the tremors have gone past my hands and legs. My whole body is shaking. Uh, I'm going to use that next time I get excited. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Hmm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> oh. No, oh, that's so cool. Just like little touches like these. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, little touches like these are what makes Nintendo games so fantastic. So, you know, I would say 90%, if not higher, other games. They would just end the quest and be like, all right, thanks for bringing that. But nope, Nintendo takes it a step further. They're like, here, we're going to put this on a wall as a sign of your achievement. But also, um, look at how many we have yet to find, because I'm, I'm guessing all this wall space gets filled up. So A, it gives you a sense of what you have left to do. Uh, and then B, once you start filling it up, it gives you a sense of accomplishment for filling up the wall. So just those little touches. I mean, people can say what they want about Nintendo, but for their main IPs, you know, your Zeldas, your Marios, um, things like that, they usually knock it out of the park. Attention to detail is incredible in some of these games. 
All right, so we got the pants, right? We did. What is this? Uh, 700. We cannot... Oops. I don't think we can get that. What is that? 500? Yeah. Uh-huh. I do want to sell. I have 200 rupees. So that was worth 200. So that'll get us 400 rupees. I don't think we've really picked up anything else gem-wise. Uh, we haven't. So yeah, we still really can't afford anything yet, so... Ah. 800, 800, 800, okay. So we just need to do a little bit more exploring. Wrong button, wrong button, right button. All right, so I'm happy uh, how that worked out. Uh, and now we're going to... Well, we're going to head to the Gerudo Canyon to that little... I don't know if I want to call it an outpost because we haven't been there yet, but it's like that tower thing that's kind of by the uh, geograph, glyph, geoglyph. And we're going to check that place out because I just feel like maybe we need a clue or something. Or maybe we could just look at it again today because uh, it is a different day uh, physically here for me. So maybe it's something that'll just kind of pop out. Ah. So does this, uh, yeah, so I, I guess he doesn't care hmm. <clears throat> that we've been there and that we've solved his mystery. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but oh well. I kind of have a feeling we're going to be seeing him at other Skyview Towers. Uh, he'll be probably doing the same thing, just basically telling us about paintings and stuff. Oh yeah, we're hot now. We got to... What do we got to do? Let's wear... Let's wear our climbing gear. And then we'll just chow down on some... I should make some food, actually. Because these are just gonna run out really quick. What is this? Interesting. Well, we'll save whatever that is for later. Try not to get too sidetracked for you guys. I mean, I would really appreciate, uh, you know, any comments you guys have from watching the videos. If, uh, you know, getting sidetracked is something that is okay or if you prefer you know kind of just sticking with the main story oh yeah there's a shrine down there too uh personally speaking like <clears throat> when i'm watching let's plays i really don't mind um when when people get sidetracked but also generally when I am watching a Let's Play, say for example, like like Tears of the Kingdom or like Breath of the Wild. I played through Breath of the Wild a couple different times, but I still watched uh, Let's Plays from a couple of my favorite content creators uh, because I always like getting somebody else's perspective on things. But usually that stuff is just kind of hanging around in the background. Um, you know, say I'm doing something on my computer, doing some work or something or um, in my shop doing something, I'll have it playing on the TV in my shop. So I don't mind if things get sidetracked because, you know, I'm not sitting down watching it, just kind of paying attention with one ear, so to speak. 
But I could see maybe where if somebody is watching it basically constantly, getting distracted could be frustrating because it takes time. And I want to be respectful of your guys' time as well. All right, I'm going to get off my soapbox and see what's in this chest. And then I'm probably going to cook um, some cold re or some heat resistant food real quick. Ooh, very cool. And we are getting low on bows, so that's like plus plus. Okay, good. There is a pot over here. All right. Let's see here. Uh, chili shrooms. Stay cool even in arid regions. Okay. Let's see what this does. Seven thirty. That's pretty good. I think we'll just do a bunch of those. We've got not terrible at doing like just fast cuts for the cooking. Or I shouldn't say cuts, but just skipping lots of stuff. <laughs> You can actually pound through it pretty quickly if you time everything right. Then just for funsies, we're going to do five, see what that does. I level heat resistance. Okay, cool. Uh, and then what else do we have? Uh, the splash fruit. That we can actually chop to cool ourselves off. Chill fruit. Attack power and cold temperatures. Yeah, don't we have... Um, attack power and high temperatures. Um, I'm going to... Just for funsies, see what this does. Low level. So that's... Uh, even with five, it's still a low level. Um, raise your core temperature, cold darner, heat resistance, faint glow. Oh yeah, these hardy lizards, I forgot about those. Um, let's go ahead and do, let's just do an elixir just to maybe see. we can get out of it. Oh, I can't carry any more meals. Okay, well, we're done cooking then. Five. Okay. Is, are you talking to me? Oh, you got some clothes here. Back. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, so Hitano still is the uh, tourist hotspot. Ah. Man, I really want to go to Hitano now. <laughs> All right, I'll buy it because it probably four fifty. Okay, I think we can afford this. <laughs> uh -huh. ah. All right, so we're gonna sell our. Oh, uh, where'd our star fragment go? There it is. That'll work. Alright, so we need 40 more rupees. What do we have? Don't want to give up my amber, but at the same time, I feel like we can find amber... Pretty easily. That sounds good. <laughs> ah. I will take super special secrets.
Sold. Balder and Trousers. Fashion, passion in Gerudo Town. The secret shop is located behind that store? Interesting. <laughs> so we got to do the thing where we uh, dress up. Well, like a, a lady again. So oil... Increases heat resistance. Yeah. Oh, what else do we have here? Ooh. Seared steak. Do we have steak? We don't. Oh, yeah. Fuse it with a weapon to add a lashing quality. That, I think, would be pretty interesting to try. Man, this place is pretty well set up. I better talk to her before I just open those. Mm. <laughs> Decorate with a passion. Okay, so interesting. Oh. Uh, sorry. Thought we were all friends. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yes, let's go. I'm going to chat with this lady real quick. Ah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh. Okay. Where are we at for time? Like 18 minutes or so. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see anything here. We're pretty far back. But basically, we want to find a tier that's filled in. And I don't know. I think we're probably going to have to make a balloon and get closer. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do this shrine right now or wait. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will. Oh, nice. Nice. So that could be cool. Hi. Die. <laughs> Sandy fog. Oh. Yeah, I've never, never mastered the intricacies of uh, the Gerudo language either. I didn't even realize we could go in here. Ah. Oh, look at this. Arrows, all sorts of chew jelly. Hello. Yeah. Uh. 
Quiet, unsociable. Hmm. <laughs> ah. The spa. Interesting. Three big ideas. Hey, Rosers. Hold on one sec, guys. All right, guys, have my daughter pop in real quick to show me her Buzz Lightyear tattoo that she got. He's only three, but you know what? We're a really progressive family, so she can get tattoos whenever she wants. Soft bed. What makes it soft? Oh, yeah, I'm I'm broke. I forgot. I will rest there at some point in time to figure out what we get out of that bed. Uh, pirates, I think, right? Yeah. Oh. I don't know what to do either. I mean, I'll have to go there and probably root out all those pirates for y'all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna... Oops. Snag a picture of this real quick. That'll work. Ah. I'd buy some of that stuff. I'd buy a lot of stuff, but we don't have any rupees, so... Um... I wonder if I can use this up updraft to get up high and then go on that tower. Oh, it didn't get us super high, but we got higher. There's somebody up top there, too. Oh, there's a ladder. I guess I didn't notice that before. Am I on the wrong side? Yes. Climbing ladders is hard, kids. It's, yep, doubly hard. Come on, Link. All right, what do we got? That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. So we got bad guys. Oh, there's a shrine up there on top. Is that, I believe that might be Gerudo Town. It's over there. Looks like another bad guy camp. Hmm. So she called this a lighthouse. So. Am not able to climb up there? We'll give it a try and see. Does it get us anything? Oh, it doesn't look like we need to stand. Can we go up on top of it? Ooh, that was really close. 
So does this help our view at all? I almost wonder if we have to go meet that guy who said, hey, do you want to go look at the glyph with me? Maybe he's got a clue or something he can tell us. I mean, we don't know. Also, I wonder... So we've got our new tools. Um, should we try and build something real quick? Uh, the description for the sled says it's smooth on the bottom, so maybe we can... Maybe we can... Make like a hovercraft kind of thing. Uh, we're just gonna try out, try it out, and see what we can do. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we can. How would we get this? I want to get this basically centered. That's not even... Well, let's get this thing on here. This part can be a little tricky sometimes, I feel like. Just getting stuff lined up. Maybe I have to uh, separate these guys. Let's try that. Um, I want to put him yeah, like right there. Take this other one and we'll put it like right there. Okay. All right, guys, tally ho. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, she doesn't, she doesn't steer super responsive, but this is awesome. Oh, I thought we could glide up there. Um, let's see. I uh, will just do this. Oh no, Lake, look out! <laughs> this thing looks so cool. Oh man, Nintendo. You guys. Gotta love it. Where are we going? We're going this way. Yeah, walking's for chumps. Why walk when you can do this? Actually, you know what? Let me... I'm gonna... Oh, no. I was gonna see if we can, like, stop this. Like, if I pull back, does it slow down? It does not. This <laughs> is so much fun. Oh, man. Okay, Link, let's put on... There we go. Fashionable and warm. What do we need? That'll get us close enough. Mm. Uh, I wonder, can we... Let me think about how to do this. 
Auto build. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Uh, where is the one that works? Oh, this one. Yeah, let's set that as one of the favorites. <laughs> okay. Um, hot air balloon. So, can I build it? Oh. Wait. Minus six out of 129. Did that just... Okay, I was thinking maybe we'd have to um, pull the parts out of here. But we have 38 balloons. Maybe it did, and I just don't realize it. We have 38 balloons. All right, let's build another one and see if... See if it pulls the parts out. All right, so it used up six zonite, but it didn't use up any balloons, guys. Interesting. Very interesting. So that means, that means we just need a shitload of zonite and then we can just build whatever the heck we want. Yeah, because look, it's got the little gazebo thing and everything. I mean, since we have, oops, come on, Link. Um, since we have two balloons here, and we might as well make like a mega balloon. Yeah, this will be good for observing, right? Oh, but we need uh so we do we will have to pull out our our fire things. Um, where are those at? These guys. Oh, we're getting kinda low on those. And since we fused our balloons together, we're gonna need two. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was just thinking too, guys. Uh, we probably could have um, we probably could have just uh, lit a fire instead of using our resources. Oh, we got a blood moon coming. Tally ho! I wish they had a like maybe a little bit shorter sequence or something for the blood moon. Oh, so this needs battery to even stay in the air. Okay, let's, uh, what am I hooked on to? No, I want just the head. Okay, and then... Oops, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Wait. 
That's weird. Oh, we're going to build a fire. Uh, two? And then... Whoops. I almost... Uh, shot my fire arrow from off of this thing. That probably wouldn't have worked. All right. Oh, we're like super hot. All right, let's take a look here. I don't know. I mean, it looks like It sort of almost looks like that one way up top, but then that one there kind of looks full too. I don't know if that would make sense though, because it's kind of filled with water or dragon tear like substance. Maybe I just need to. Look at the ledges more, because that's a flat surface that you could expect water to kind of puddle on. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what to do on this one. Ah, uh, crap. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I thing's probably just going to go bye-bye. And we're going to have to build another balloon. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, uh, we are going to hit up this shrine here in the next one. And then after that, uh, we are going to work on tackling the mystery of that geoglyph and see if we can get things figured out. So if you guys are enjoying the content, hit that like button, throw a subscription my way. It is greatly appreciated. Also, comments below. Let me know how I'm doing. If you like the, uh, the way the videos are structured. If you like me roaming around, if you want me to stick more on the story, et cetera, et cetera, any feedback is appreciated. And until next time, guys, have a great rest of your day.